Well, it's official. The Lakeview Amphitheater in Geddes will have a new name, the St. Joseph's Health Amphitheater at Lakeview. Onondaga County legislators passed the proposal for the naming rights today by a 13 to 4 vote. The amphitheater opened in 2015, bringing summer concerts to the upstate New York area. It was built for around $49 million. It seats about 17,000 people, including the lawn seats. St. Joseph's Health will now pay the county $750,000 over five years to put its name on the amp. Now at 6, Mary Keeler reports. After two summers, the Lakeview Amphitheater will now go by a new name. A 13-4 vote in the Onondaga County Legislature today gave the go-ahead to the St. Joseph's Health Amphitheater at Lakeview. Chairman Ryan McMahon says this will provide revenue for venue repairs to avoid using taxpayer dollars. There's been many sponsorships at the amphitheater, but there hasn't been a naming rights of the building sponsorship. Just like when you go into the Carrier Dome and you see Kraus, it's his name blasted all over the Carrier Dome. When you go to the Lakeview Amphitheater, you'll see the St. Joseph's Health uh, logo all over the amphitheater. The cost for St. Joe's is $750,000 for a multi-year agreement. But what's the return on their investment? Rebecca Ortiz, an assistant professor of advertising at Syracuse University, says there are pros and cons. There's a lot of potential for longevity in the name sticking around and being something that people associate, hopefully, with something positive like the amphitheater. She says it's all about finding the right fit between sponsor and venue, and there are some downsides to keep an eye on. The amphitheater was not originally known as being a St. Joe affiliated uh, or affiliated sponsorship, so people may continue to call it Lakeview Amphitheater and the brand name may not connect or stick with it. Ortiz says this upcoming season for the amphitheater will be telling. It would be in their best interest to really go out into the community and see are people actually associating with the amphitheater with the brand or are they still associating with the original name. Leaving many to wonder, how will this partnership along the shores of Onondaga Lake play out? In Syracuse, I'm Mary Keeler reporting. Coming up on 